Yeah, yeah, I came for the dress. It's right over here in the closet. Can you sit down for a minute? Is it? Yeah. Do you want a drink? Oh, I can't. Alcoholic? No, I'm a, I'm a girl. Really? God, what did you do? No, you know what? Don't tell me. I want to speculate. Oh, you don't have to speculate. No, I mean, I want to speculate about your crime. When I'm alone. What's your name? Caleb. Caleb. Suits you. I'm Marla. Hey, Marla. Marla. <laughs> can I have sex on parole, can't you? Yeah. I can. You like sex, don't you? Yeah, I like sex. You like me? Yeah. Tomas, what a surprise. Come on in. Have some coffee with me. I feel very strange coming here. Why? Well, because I don't know why I came exactly. Well, when you were a little boy, before Kate grew up, I remember that often you used to ride your bicycle all the way out here. And I never could figure out why. That's because I had a crush on you. Oh, that's... <laughs> <laughs> Amanda. After Caleb and I rescued that boy the other day, I started thinking about my brother. Of course you did. My mother and I have never dealt with Antonio's death. Not together, anyway. That's what I learned this week. I have this fear that if we don't come to terms with it before I leave for San Francisco, we may never do it. I'm afraid of what that may mean. She's a tough cookie, your mother. I know. It's just her way. I know that, too. But it's more than just talk. It's as though she's holding something back. I don't know what. But until I get it, get on with my life. Caleb. Marla. I was so disappointed when I woke up this morning and you were gone. Yeah, well, you know, my day job is ranch hand, so I had to be at work at 5.30 this morning. Well, you're not working now. Well, yes, I am. Caleb, I'm a paying guest four times every year. No one's going to fire you. They want you to make me happy. Yeah, well, look, Marla, I can't. You mean you won't? No, I, I will, I promise. Okay, later. Sucko, sex. Hey, 
you, buddy. Hey. We got a problem. Uh, the lady at the bar says that you took our money last night. What? He came to my room. When I woke up, he was gone. So was all the money in my purse, and I want it back. I didn't take your money. Come here for just a second. Come on. Close to $800. He comes to my room, tells me all about prison and how bad it was. I feel sorry for him. I, I didn't take it. You know, it just goes to show you no good deed goes unpunished. I give this guy a mercy. You're a damn liar. She's a paying guest, so we at least have to hear this. What's that got to do with me? Look, I didn't steal anything of hers. Look, you know it's not true, Alex. You tell her. You say it. You say it to everybody. I can't do that. Come here. Come here. Look, just stay away until she checks out. I'll pay you. I'm going to call the police. Please don't do that. I'll reimburse you. I'll cover your whole stay. Forgive me, Antonia. Forgive me, Mama. Forgive me, Jesus. Antonio, forgive me.